right guys, so today's trick is definitely going to be a lot different than the usual card tricks on my channel, but it's a really fun card trick that I came up with recently, and I do really hope that you guys will get a kick out of it. I think it's a really fun, cute little trick. So without further ado, let's get right into the performance. So imagine I walk up to my spectator and I ask them, hey, are you hungry by any chance? I don't know about you, but I'm actually craving some food right now. Um, so I don't know, normally I would go for something like burgers and fries, but recently I've been trying to, to watch my diet. So I've actually been getting more and more into salads and I, I try to go online and look at different recipes for different salads. Um, and I've liked a lot of them, but this particular one that I found, um, it's, it's a really delicious salad. It just, it suits me very well. Um, and I actually have all the ingredients and all the recipes right here on my phone. So I was actually hoping that we could make this salad right here, right now together. If, if you're hungry, of course, I, I promise it's a, it's a very, very delicious salad. You'll, you'll love it. Um, but here's the thing. I'm not actually going to tell you what kind of salad this is. I'm gonna leave that as a surprise for the end, but feel free to guess along the way as to what salad this is. Um, but let's go ahead and begin by, by removing all of the ingredients. So I have all the ingredients here on my phone. I would just have the spectator read them off to me and we'll go ahead and remove them. So we have romaine lettuce up first. Okay, great. So what's next? We got cherry tomatoes. Okay, ooh, I see some nice juicy cherry tomatoes right over here. Okay, so next is bacon. And Spectator, you can also help me to remove the ingredients as well. So we, need have, we have some bacon here. We also have some avocado chopped. Okay, great. We also need some shredded chicken. Okay, great. Um, the next one is mayonnaise. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and get that out here. Uh, next is mustard and vinegar. Perfect. And we need some croutons. And last but not least, we need some hard boiled eggs. Actually, the queen works very well because the Q kind of looks like an egg shape, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think we have all the ingredients here. Perfect. So spectator, can you go ahead and just swipe over to the next photo on my phone? This will be the preparation part of the recipe. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this together. We have layer the romaine lettuce, the cherry tomatoes, the bacon, the avocado, and the chicken onto a plate. Perfect. And then it says to mix all of these together. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and start doing that. And of course, I don't have to do this myself. I could have the spectator help me out, mix them all together just like this as well. Um, okay, next it says mix the uh, mayonnaise and the mustard with a splash of vinegar and then drizzle over the salad and then top with the croutons and the hard boiled eggs. Perfect. And then we just mix that all together as well. Nice, get that all perfectly mixed. Okay, perfect. The last step of the recipe says store in fridge for 10 seconds, then serve. Okay, sounds easy enough. Uh, our fridge, I guess we can use the card box for our fridge. So let's go ahead and store a salad in the fridge and we wait 10 seconds. Whew, I'm really hungry. I'm really excited to eat this salad. Um, so any guesses as to what this salad may be? If, if you guys are salad fans, you may have recognized what this salad is just based off the ingredients. Um, but if you don't know, I'll go ahead and reveal to you the name of this salad. So the name of this particular salad is Club Salad. That's right, Club Salad. Now, I don't know why, but I just, I love this particular recipe um, because every time I follow it, it just turns out perfect. And this particular Club Salad looks quite delicious. Let's dig in. And yeah, that's the trick guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, be sure to stick around for the tutorial. All right guys, so here's the tutorial for my original card trick called Club Salad. Now, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. It's a really fun and honestly kind of stupid little trick, but it's it's a fun visual transformation of a packet of cards. The presentation and how you perform this trick will really make the spectator have a fun time watching. Without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial for how this works. So in order to perform club salad, you're going to need to remove all of the clubs 
except for one of them. Just remove out any of the 12 clubs. I think I left out the jack of clubs and that jack of clubs can just be left in the upper half of the deck. It does not really matter where that goes. The next thing you'll want to get out are the two red queens and I will explain why that is in a bit. Once you have all these cards, you're going to take one of the red queens and place it on the bottom of all of these face up clubs. And then you're going to take a random card from the deck and place that on the bottom as well. So now you have all of these cards just like this together. And these cards, you're actually going to give a little bit of a bend. Don't worry, this will not ruin the deck of cards that you're using. It's just a little bend. And this is just so that you will not have to go and catch a break in the deck. This is just so that you can feel uh, for the bend in the cards and just simply drop the cards at the break and they will very easily separate. This will go on the bottom of the deck, just like this, all of your clubs and then your queen and your random card right there. And then the last thing in the setup is you take the other red queen and you just place that on the top of the deck. And that's all you need. You will also need the card box for this because this is going to be the last step in the recipe when you place the cards in the fridge. And then the other thing you will need is the photos of the recipe. I will actually put these on the screen right now so that you guys can take a screenshot of these pictures and use them on your own phone. You can even print these out onto paper if you prefer performing with paper instead of using electronics. But once you have these things, you are all set. So you begin the trick by telling the spectator that you're gonna make a salad together, but you're not gonna tell them what kind of salad because that will reveal the end of the trick basically. But you tell them that it will be a surprise and that you can have them try and guess what the salad is. So one thing that's very important in your opening patter is this one particular line that I like to say about the salad. So I say, I I've been trying a lot of different salads, but this particular salad, I love it so much. It just suits me very well. Now this line might not seem like it means anything, but it's actually kind of teasing the end of this trick. The word suit in particular is what I'm referring to. It's a fun play on words that I like to throw in there. No one's gonna catch it unless they're paying attention, but I do like to include it in there just as a little teaser for what's to come without actually revealing anything. It's just a nice little bit of foreshadowing in your pattern. And what I do in this part of the trick is I take the cards out of the box and I just spread them on the table like this, but I don't spread all the way to the end because that's gonna reveal all of these clubs together. So I kind of just do about three quarters of the deck and then stop. I just spread the cards out for about three seconds and then I just pick the deck back up. And I tell the spectator to begin reading me all the ingredients from the first photo. So we have romaine lettuce and this entire part of the trick is just you pulling out random cards. Basically no method to this part of the trick. There are just two things though that you will need to keep track of and those two things are the one club that you left in this half of the deck and also the queen of hearts. I will get into those a little bit later, but for romaine lettuce, um, you can pull out literally any card, it doesn't matter. And when you pull out these cards and set them on the table, it's very important that you set them on the table to your right and then you start putting down every single card to the left of that card so that you will end up with a spread going from right to left. So then you read the next ingredient is cherry tomatoes. You can pull out any two cards you want, it doesn't matter. And then you can have the spectator start to help you. Uh, they can pull out bacon, they can pull out avocado, chopped, and you're just gonna pull out roughly you know, 13 to 14 to 15 cards. You don't have to count, it doesn't have to be an exact number. And also make sure that you get the spectator involved as well. Just make sure that you're not the one pulling out every single ingredient. Get them involved because it makes them have more fun in the trick. When there's a point in the trick when you are the one pulling out the ingredients, somewhere in the middle here on either mayonnaise, mustard, or vinegar, you're gonna pull out the jack of clubs and set that one down. You don't make a note about it being a club, just literally pull out that one random card and set it down. It just looks like it's a random card. The only reason why you pull this card out is just so that the spectators do see that there is at least one club in this packet of cards, because if you didn't have one club, then it would look a little strange with only spades in the pile. But having at least this one club in the pile makes it seem like it's a normal random assortment of cards. So then you pull out the mustard, the vinegar, the croutons, whatever. And then for the last step is the hard boiled eggs. You're going to essentially do a reverse spread from the bottom to push out the top card of the deck, which is the queen of hearts right here. And you do that as you put down the first of the hard boiled eggs, which can be any card. So I'm just gonna put down the two of spades. And as I do that, I'm gonna reverse spread 
and then put this down as the second one. And now I'm going to make a little comment about how the Q of the queen, it kind of looks like a hard boiled egg shape. And I kind of say this as a joke, but in reality, it's actually part of the method because I subconsciously want the spectator to remember that this queen is the bottom card of this packet. As long as they remember that the queen is the bottom card of this packet, the packet switch that I'm about to do is going to be completely invisible to them. So once you make this little comment about the queen, you say, okay, I think that's all the ingredients. You're going to riffle down about three quarters of the deck and you're going to slip cut this uh, bottom card into the middle. What that's gonna do is it's just going to remove that two of diamonds or whatever card you placed into the middle of the deck. And now it will reveal that queen on the bottom, but you don't wanna show this to the spectator. You wanna keep this hidden. So at this point you turn the deck over because you bent those cards earlier, you should see that that packet of cards is very, very easy to feel if you just actually release pressure. That club packet, now I have all the clubs in my hand, including that queen of diamonds. Um, but I have that now just from releasing pressure and I don't have to like count or riffle to find a break. I just release and boom, now I can catch a break. I have to use misdirection in this next part of the trick because I am going to be switching out this packet of cards. So as I do the switch, I'm going to use the misdirection of having the spectator swipe to the next photo in my camera roll. Or if this was a printed piece of paper to turn the paper over or something like that. But as a spectator is changing the photo, with the recipe, that is the moment when I pick up these cards from right to left. So I'm gonna pick up these cards from right to left. I'm gonna place all of these cards on the top of the deck like this, and then immediately I'm going to raise my hands up together and take all of the cards above the pinky break and set those on the table, and then immediately come down with the pack in my hand and give it a little spread. I'm gonna come over and kind of point to the phone or the piece of paper with my finger, and what I'm doing is I'm subconsciously flashing the bottom card, which is going to be the queen. Now, if you want to, you can actually take your index finger and place it over the pip, just in case you're worried that the spectator is gonna notice that it's a diamond instead of a heart. But in reality, if you don't make a note about it being the queen of hearts, and you just say a queen, then they're not gonna remember the suit because you were not making any other comments about the suits. So they really shouldn't remember this piece of information anyway. But if you are worried, you can just easily cover that with your index finger, uh, but they will still see a red queen. So it's gonna look like this is the exact same packet of cards that you were just using. And now you just read these instructions. It just says layer romaine lettuce, half tray tomatoes. And what I do is I just start putting some cards from the top down and I just, every so often, I just kind of flash that bottom card again. So I'm just like, I'm pointing to the recipe. I'm like, is that right? Okay, great. Um, and I'm just subconsciously, I keep flashing this bottom card just to show a red card and just to show that queen, just to reinforce the idea that this is the same packet of cards. So once I have about half the cards down, it doesn't matter how many you put down, you're gonna stop at the first sentence, which just says, uh, layer all those onto a plate, and then you can just add in this part of mixing it together. And this is actually a very important part of the trick is mixing the cards together. You're gonna take both your hands and mix them together. Now, naturally, your hands have to be face down for this, which means that the card will be face up. So this is just another way to subconsciously flash that queen. And now you say, and I don't have to do this myself. I can actually hand these over to you and you can go ahead and mix these yourself. Now the spectator will give these a table wash. And what you will do is you are going to actually get rid of this queen. What I do is I get a pinky break on the bottom card and I transfer it to a thumb break and I just bring my hand to the edge of the table and I simply let the thumb break go and I just let this card drop onto my lap if I'm seated at a table. So now I only have clubs in my hand and all these cards are also clubs. And now I just have to remember to never turn my hand over again because now there's no queen to show. But now you just layer the rest of the ingredients and it says top with the croutons and the hard boiled eggs. And then you just mix these all together. Perfect. The last step is to store in fridge for 10 seconds. And this next part of the trick, you just pretend like you're improvising. You go, oh, oh yeah, we'll use the box for this. You don't have to go, look, the box is empty. Look guys, the box is empty. Just show casually that the box is empty and then just place the cards in the box and it says, wait for 10 seconds. And now at this point in the trick, I have the spectator try and guess what the name of this salad is. And sometimes people will get it right. And that would actually honestly be better if they got it right off the bat, because then it sort of makes it look like they were the ones who created the salad. I don't know, that's, it's kind of confusing to explain, but if the spectator is the one who names 
the salad first, it'll just be a stronger effect overall because then it will seem like they were the ones in control of the outcome. Of course, if they don't guess club salad, then you just reveal that this is actually a club salad. The best part is that this is a real genuine salad. Like I didn't make that up. This is a real recipe that I just found online for a, a genuine salad called club salad. This is just a fun play on words here because the spectator doesn't know that you mean club salad as in the suits over here. And then you just say, and this particular club salad looks especially delicious. Let's go ahead and dig in. And then that's how you end the trick right there. So yeah, guys, that's the trick. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. It's a really fun, really lighthearted little trick. I really, really enjoy this one. I think it's a lot of fun. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed as well. And I hope that you guys go out and perform this one and let me know what people think. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.